All right, update on the Whitakers and Mark Laida. One day ago, I uploaded a video about West Virginia. In the last seven minutes of the video, I go to the Whitakers house, drop off some groceries, and I ask Betty Whitaker, what's going on with the house and where is the money? I'm referring to a GoFundMe set up by Mark Laida, where he raised $77,000 from the generous donations of many people watching his videos with the Whitakers with the intent to buy the Whitakers a new home. The title of the GoFundMe is Help the Whitakers Purchase a New Home. Now, I asked Betty what's going on with the money. She says, Mark says we've run out of money. What house? What, what do you mean, basically? So I uploaded this to my video and I open-endedly asked Mark, what's going on with the GoFundMe? Where's the money? I did not accuse him of doing anything. I did not call him names. I merely asked the question I myself was curious about and thousands of other people in Mark's own channel had asked him and I would imagine that includes many people who have donated to the cause, which is to help buy them a new home. Which brings me to my next point. Mark uploads a video to his channel where he says he's transferred over $100,000 worth of his viewers' donations to Betty Whitaker. There is no money left in the accounts and they would constantly ask for the money and he would send it to them. There's no money in the GoFundMe's left for a house, which was the entire goal of the GoFundMe. My problem with this is A, he could have just updated the viewers every couple months or every video with the Whitakers. Hey, we're actually using these to keep the Whitakers alive. When they ask for it, I send it to them. That simple. The goal of getting them this house is not real, nor will it ever materialize. And just been upfront and honest with, hey, this isn't for the house. This is just for them. If you want to donate to them, here it is. Cool. I would have had no problem with that. But that's not what he did. Any donor sending money to that GoFundMe is under the impression it is going towards the larger purchase of a home, not for random living expenses that Mark will send their way in the chunks of four to $5,000 every two, two weeks to a month, which if you go through the transaction, he's basically sending a couple grand every two weeks, every month, quite frequently. He's sending them the money as they ask. There's no money left in the GoFundMe. As the money comes in the GoFundMe, the money goes out of the GoFundMe. Now, this is a great update. Kudos to Mark for giving them the money. They are in fact entitled because the donors gave the Whitakers the money, not Mark. Many people are saying, I've basically ruined the relationship between them, when in reality, that's between them. If Mark wants to cut them off for not maybe fully understanding the situation, and he is that frustrated that one person with a platform Ask the question of what's going on with the public GoFundMe with public funds donated to the GoFundMe by strangers who care about these people. If me asking that question has elicited a response in which he cancels GoFundMe's forever because it calls into question what? The timeline in which he intends on giving these people the money, his ethics, what's going on? Genuinely, I'm asking a very basic update question of, hey, there's a lot of people that have donated to this GoFundMe. What's going on with the money? Pure, simple, cut and dry. Didn't accuse him of being a scammer. Didn't call many names. I merely asked what was going on here. Mark's frustration is that I didn't email him personally, which I asked him open-endedly on the video, and we now have this update. So it has taken all this time and all of this money for me to ask one question that he has now responded to, and we now all have clarity that the GoFundMe to get them a home was never gonna happen. He's been sending them their money the entire time, which is good and expected. And honestly, if he was just a little bit transparent with, hey, here's the update guys, here's how your money's being spent. Keep in mind, this isn't his money that he's spending. This is, he is the, the manager of the funds donated to the GoFundMe for them. If he just sent that update, me and so many other people would not have been so confused and asked the question. I just asked the question of what was going on. His response is, obvious frustration and the receipt showing the transfers, which that's good. Thank God he's actually sent them the money. I think that's great. I think this easily could have been avoided if he just provided an adequate update here and there, but the people are sending him their money with the expectation that it went towards a house. They were in the dark. No one knew how this was being allocated until I asked this question. No one knew what was happening with the money. No one knew what was going on. I think it is our job to ask these questions even if they're a bit uncomfortable. I think he's frustrated we didn't ask him directly, but what he's doing with these people, generating videos with tens of millions of views, generating tens of thousands of dollars for them, obligates a certain level of responsibility where he updates people occasionally on how their money is being spent. Shout out to Mark for actually giving them the money, 
but a simple update of we're not going to get a house we are allocating the money bi-weekly whenever they ask for it and they're spending it however they desire that's all we would have needed and the people can then make the decision to hey i'm going to donate to the whitakers vaguely and however they spend it or i'm not going to donate to them because they might spend it on something that's not a house and i don't agree with that but you have to give the viewers and the donors transparency to allow them to make the decision of how their money is being spent. With that being said, I currently have a GoFundMe under in the link in the description of the West Virginia video. I've donated $10,000 of my money personally. There's also a couple thousand dollars in there currently raised for the Whitakers. The initial goal of combining whatever I raised with Mark's GoFundMe is now no longer obviously possible because he's given them all the money. I would imagine it's all spent. If we raise enough money to get them a house, we'll get them a house. If we don't, we'll figure out the second best means of increasing their quality of life. Whatever that may look like, I'm not sure how much money we'll raise, but the GoFundMe still stays up till the end of the month. By the end of the month, you guys will have an update on what we plan to do with the money and you will get a video update with the Whitakers on how we use that money. If you wanna refund the donation, do it. Mark, I, I would implore you to have another conversation with Betty and mend this broken bridge. My involvement has nothing to do with it. Your reaction to this is of your own accord. I never intended this to be a personal attack towards Mark. I think it was a very reasonable question that I and many other people had of what's going on with this money, what's the update? His response to all this is interesting. If one person with a voice elicited this reaction, I'm not sure what to make of that. But to Mark's credit, the money was sent. Whatever amount of money we raise by the end of this month, will be sent to the Whitakers with receipts and videos. Thanks for watching.